Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I discuss all things fashion style and beauty. So if that's something that you're into, uh, please feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. Now today I'm going to be doing a quick video and demonstration on why I believe we should not be using celebrities as the metric to figure out what our image ID is. Okay, so let's get straight into things here. I think using a celebrity as the point of reference, the metric, for figuring out our image ID just really causes more confusion and leads us to a lot of dead ends. And I'm gonna explain why. But first, I'm prompted to make this video because there are a lot of people that reach out to me and they say, hey, I look like XYZ celebrity, which type am I? And unfortunately, I'm not able to give them an accurate answer based on that kind of information. Okay, so let's dive straight into the video here. So there's a few different reasons why I think using a celebrity to try and discover your own image ID is hindering your experience with discovering your own self, discovering your authenticity, and really representing yourself through style. So first off, the most obvious to me is that sometimes we really can't get an accurate depiction of a celebrity. So a lot of the times they do have modifications like plastic surgery, Botox, they do body modifications, and we do see that sometimes they are photoshopped. So they're made to look a certain way. This really does create ultimately sometimes an unattainable beauty standard, which is a whole different topic, but I think that it does play a part into where we start to compare ourselves to celebrities in trying to find our Kibbe image ID. So secondary to that is celebrities, because we don't get to know them, we don't sit down and have coffee with them, we don't see them on a daily basis in person, we come up with these impressions of them. So they make an impression on us and we kind of hold on to that. And that really got me thinking about where we kind of miss the mark whenever we're comparing ourselves to celebrities when it comes to applying the principles of the Kibbe image ID system. And I really got to thinking about a lot of these people that were reaching out to me and they say, hey, my mom has always told me that I look like Angelina Jolie, for instance. And I couldn't help but wonder where that might come from. So I started to kind of backtrack and I realized that it's really because these celebrities do leave an impression on us. So I wanted to demonstrate how the Kibbe image ID system is not based on impressions or similarities. It's more based on evaluating your own self and how it relates to this theory, this principle of yin yang balance. And that's represented Presented, I've discussed before in our frame, our shape, our facial features, and our essence. So what I've decided to do is take two celebrities that share the same Kibbe image ID archetype. And I really wanted to demonstrate how different they really look, but are still able to be in the same archetype in the Kibbe image ID system. So I'm going to be giving my first impressions of these celebrities and kind of outline the features and attributes that stick out to me that I might project onto another person. So these are the things that I would carry with me, the impressions I would carry with me about this celebrity that if I met another person, if they kind of meet some of these parameters, I might say, hey, you remind me of XYZ. And I feel like this is something that we do just every day. How many times have you met somebody and you said, hey, you really remind me of Jane. I know I've had that happen to me and sometimes it's a little weird, you know, it's like I start to think about myself, I become more self-conscious and I'm like, well, what is it about me that they see in me that they also saw in this other person? Okay, so let's just get to the celebrity examples here. So I've picked out two celebrities. The first celebrity is Molly Ringwald and I'm going to be giving my thoughts on Molly Ringwald based on on her appearance at the height of her career, so the mid to late 80s through the early 90s. And keep in mind that I am not going to be applying any principles of Kibbe, all of that is gone. We're just doing impressions here. So when I think of Molly Ringwald, I definitely think of like that short red kind of tousled hair. She also has really beautiful full lips. Those really stand out to me. As far as her body goes, she has what I would call like an average body. She's like not too tall. She's not short. She's just kind of average. And in my opinion, she really gives off that 
girl next door vibe also the kind of girl where she gets along with other girls but she also can really run with the boys so in that i don't really see a whole lot of necessarily like sex appeal being put forward she's a little bit on the modest side she's relatively average and very approachable so that's my impression of molly ringwald now let's look at another celebrity that is in the same kibby image id archetype katie perry so katie perry i think we can all agree looks very different from molly ringwald they have very few similarities at first glance and i think that'll be proven by my first impression of katie perry so when i think of katie perry and again i'm going to be referencing her at the height of her career before she had um got the pixie cut and dyed her hair so when she had the long brown hair i really really loved the contrast between her brown hair and her piercing like green blue eyes that was a feature that really Really, really stood out to me especially against her more fair complexion that is something that i just really associate with Car katy perry and then when i look at her body i actually really think of it as a very voluptuous kind of body because she does like to show off her curves she's not afraid to show cleavage she has performance costumes that really hug the body and even when we see her in these seemingly candid photos um, she really does wear a little bit more um, sexy clothing so she's to me kind of like this sex kitten but at the same time she's pretty quirky and i think that's also reflected in some of her stage costumes um, um, she's got a great big smile. I love her smile and she does seem pretty approachable. She seems um, pretty, pretty outgoing. So that is my overall impression of Katy Perry. Now I hope what this demonstrated is how different my perception of Katy Perry and Molly Ringwald are, yet they are the same Kibbe Image ID archetype. I think this is really important to note and really important to illuminate when we get into the subject of comparing ourselves to celebrities to narrow down which Kibbe Image ID we are. We are indeed going to see some similarities between ourselves and certain celebrities, but that is not the sure indicator that we are the same archetype as that celebrity. So if you stumble across a list online of the celebrities that have been Kibbe verified and typed, or you're watching some videos and you start to identify with some things that are similar to that celebrity or maybe you've been on the receiving end of somebody telling you that you have some sort of representation that is similar to that celebrity, I wouldn't suggest to take it to heart. I would suggest to take it as a consideration but not use it as the exclusive tool of figuring out what your Kibbe image ID is. Because when we're looking at each other, we're not looking at each other through the lens of David Kibbe's yin yang principle. We're looking at each other and we're picking out features that really stand out to us, which is very subjective. So what stuck out to me about Molly Ringwald, you might have seen something completely different. So in my opinion, it's just a very inaccurate method of discovering our own image ID. So at this point, you might be asking yourself, okay, well, how can Katy Perry and Molly Ringwald exist in the same archetype if they look entirely different? And the short answer is that their frame, their shape, and their facial features all come together in a particular kind of yin yang harmony that is characteristic of soft naturals. So I hope this video clearly demonstrated while although getting compliments from friends, family, even strangers that you look similar to a celebrity is really flattering, it's not helpful in identifying what our Kibbe image ID truly is. So if you found this video helpful and if you like content like this, be sure to give this a big thumbs up and I will see you all at the next video. Bye.